Hey everybody, welcome to Math 10 Online in winter term of 2015. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of our Moodle course, that's where I'm at right now, and uh, introduce you to what we're going to do in the first week. Uh, this video will be a little longer probably than the ones you'll see in the future, but you know, we got a lot of stuff to cover to get started today. By the end of this video, you should be ready to start on your first homework assignments for this week. And you do have homework that's due very soon. I need to see some activity from you on Moodle before the end of the day on Wednesday. So if you are watching this video on Thursday morning and you haven't been logged in yet, you should contact me immediately because I may have already dropped you from the class. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, up here, we've got the checklist for this week. You're already watching the orientation video, so great. Then you got a couple of things to read. Basic course information, which is going to tell you a little bit about our objectives and goals for this term. It's also going to remind you that we do not have a textbook for Math 10. Instead, we are using the Khan Academy, which is a website that provides some free educational resources, including videos explaining all levels of math from counting through calculus and beyond. We aren't going to get as aggressive as calculus, but we are going to use their resources in place of our textbook. So every week you'll watch videos about each concept. Think of them like in-class lectures. And then you'll also do exercises on each topic on their site where you'll be scored. And those scores will come back to me. And at the end of every week, um, I'll provide you with some feedback which might be just, hey, you're doing a great job, or might be, you know, I noticed that it took you a while to get through the long division one. Uh, here are some other resources that might help you out. So, to so get started on Khan Academy, you're going to read this overview and then create an account. When you click on that, it'll give you directions on how to create that account and to get set up in my class over at Khan Academy. Then, before the end of the day on Wednesday, and notice the end of the day is 11 p.m., pretty late at night. Before that, I want you to introduce yourself to me and your fellow students on the introduction glossary. That's where you're just going to type in your name as a term and tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing in Math 10 after that. Uh, the next assignment for this week, read the syllabus. That's all of our course policies, tells you where your grade comes from and how to get a hold of me and all of that. And then take that syllabus quiz by Friday. That quiz will open up Tuesday, January 6th. So you can take it anytime between Tuesday and Friday online. And then, of course, get started on your homework, which we'll find in just a moment. So that's all that course information. These resources will always be available. And they're going to tell you a little bit about how to use the class, how to use Moodle. Two helpful forums here, student to student help forum. You can post questions there and you can answer questions there for extra credit if someone posts a question and you're able to give them a good, thorough, correct answer, then I'll give you extra credit for it. So you can always check in there to see if anybody has a question or to get an answer to a question you have. And then homework questions is a place you can post questions about the homework for me to answer. So you can say, hey, I was working this problem on Khan Academy not really sure how they got this answer, can you, here's the problem, can you work through it with me? And I'll see those, I'll post um, videos answering those questions. That way, if somebody else has the same question, they can look at the homework questions and get the answer too. A couple of links here will help you with navigating Moodle, navigating interacting online. If you've never taken an online class before, or if you're brushing up on your computer skills, those will be useful links. Proctored exam information, you'll need to read that before our first exam, which um, is scheduled for later this month in the testing center at LCC. You'll have a week to take it, and I'll have more information on that at the beginning of next week um, when I've got all of the dates nailed down with the testing center. But do read through that, see what you'll need to do, particularly if you're not living in Eugene or if you'll need to travel to a campus that's not an LCC campus like uh, the Downtown Center or Cottage Grove. Um, if you're living in Idaho or New Mexico or something, then definitely read through that. 
And then I have some advice from former students and some study strategies for math. If you've had math anxiety, test anxiety in the past, then start there. It's good to have a plan going into math. Don't just dive in and hope it goes better this time. Um, you can also contact me at any time and I'm happy to help you with any math anxiety, math problems, math fears that you have. All of those resources will be available all term long, so you can look for them whenever you need them. Also down here, there are some instructions on how to participate in online office hours. And I'll have my first round of those later this week. And uh, before those become available, I'll send everybody an email with um, times and directions about how to log on. So you can always come here for information about how to participate in online office hours. So let's get to the meat of the class. Here, whole numbers and operations is our first unit and it's going to have all of your assignments. And you'll notice this is a pretty long list of assignments and I know those dates are wrong. Your exam is not due in June. I'm still working to fix a few dates that are left over from my last class. Um, so here's the syllabus quiz that we just talked about. This first assignment where you're going to introduce yourself to the rest of the class. And then we get into actual math assignments. So let's look at one of these together. So you'll see a little grid that explains the name of the video or lecture that I want you to look at and what it's going to talk to you about. And then down at the bottom you'll see a couple of exercises that I want you to complete. The way this works is you need to go and log into the Khan Academy website and after you've read through the how to create an account piece. All you'll need to do each time is remember your login name and information. So khanacademy.org and then I'm already logged in so yay! And then you'll click on the link to that video place value and that's it. Then a video will load up they're all YouTube videos. They shouldn't take any special software to be able to watch them. You can watch them on your computer, your tablet, probably even your phone, but I don't know that that's always the best place to be working on math homework. And once you hit play, you'll hear somebody. Find the place value of 3 in 4,356. So you'll hear the lecture begin, and then he's going to explain this concept in a couple of different ways, work through the problems, um, and that's your first video once you've watched it and you'll see your progress get marked off in these little dots over to the side once you watch the whole video you can just go back and of course my computer is slow watch the next one um, along the way you may find occasionally particularly in these first few that a concept is familiar as you're only part way through you can move on to the next video at any time. Um, I don't usually keep track very closely of whether you've watched all of the videos, but I will keep very close track of whether you've completed the practices and exercises. So up here after I've done all of the place value videos, then I can click on the place value exercise. And this is just going to be a series of problems that I complete online. So. In the number 495,500, how many times as large is the value of the first five represents the second Okay. So after I had watched the place value videos, I'd be ready to answer this. And I'm going to say it's 15 times as large. And then I'm going to check my answer. Uh-oh. I did not get it right. I know this because I got a little X up in the corner. So now when you have a problem on the exercises, there are always hints available, and I can click through those to get the problem explained to me again. I can also click on Stuck Watch a Video, and this will take me back to the videos that explain the concepts. There's a scratch pad here, so I can write on the numbers if I want to. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I am a terrible writer on the computer. Um, so I end up using scratch paper, you know, old school actual paper next to me, but you might be very good at this, I don't know, um, whatever you want. 
Eventually I'm gonna get to the right answer. I get a happy face, yay! And I just click here to move on to the next question. Um, and it makes a satisfying little noise when you get a correct answer. You'll notice up at the top it says I need to get five correct in a row to pass this exercise. And that's usually what you're aiming for in all of these. Um, once you've gotten five correct in a row, then you can go back and move on to the next exercise. Most of these will have completion dates or suggested completion dates down at the bottom. Notice this one. I'd like you to have both of those exercises completed by the end of the day on January 7th. If you follow those suggested completion dates, then and that one's messed up. Um, if you follow those suggested completion dates, then um, you will be doing about an hour of math a day during the week for the rest of the term. So Monday through Friday math. If it works better for you to do, say, an hour and a half every other day or, um, you know, you need to skip Wednesdays because of laundry or whatever, um, that's fine. As long as you're keeping up, keeping on track, getting some math done every day or two, then you should be fine. But do plan to spend five to six hours a week on work from this class. Um, there will be some weeks when it's more. This class will require up to nine hours a week of outside work. If you find that you're doing more than nine hours a week, uh, please get in touch with me. Let's figure out what's going wrong and maybe we can strategize some ways to simplify. So that's how the assignments work. Again, they're listed in the order that you should complete them. So do place value first, then move on to addition, subtraction, etc. And they're all available all the time, so if you just go on a math binge this weekend and you get through to exponents, great. Um, but otherwise, you know, you hit about one a day and you'll be on track. Quizzes and exams. We won't have a quiz until next week, and you'll have an introductory video from me um, later this week or early next week explaining how to do that and where the practice is and all of that. So I hope that's enough to get you started for this week. Um, at any time, if you have questions, just email me or send me a message over Moodle, and I will get back to you usually within 24 hours. Sometimes it takes me a little longer. I am slower on the weekends. But I look forward to working with you, and I hope you have a great start to your winter term.